This video is to serve as a reminder to estimate first and while we are working with multiplying decimals. Be sure to put the date and topic at the top of your page. I've written the topic here as estimating decimal products. Our essential question here will be something about strategies, right? We're looking for strategies. So I've written here that we want to know what strategies we can use for finding decimal products. And that's something that we're going to be seeing a lot of in this unit. As we have done with fractions and with adding and subtracting decimals, we always want to be thinking of an estimate when we work with decimal products. Good mathematicians always know a ballpark figure for their answer before and while performing a calculation. Estimates can do two really useful things for us. An estimate can help us decide if our calculation is correct. An estimate can also help us know where a decimal should go in our answer. We'll do a couple quick estimates here just to get in the habit of doing estimates as we're working with multiplying decimals. I'll start with 9 tenths times 3 and 4 tenths. When I look at this, I know that 9 tenths is really close to one whole. Right? I also know that 3 and 4 tenths is really close to 3, but it's also close to 3 and a half. So I could think of this as 1 times 3 and a half. Of course, without even knowing an algorithm for multiplying decimals, I know a good estimate here would be 3 and a half, because any number times 1 is still the same number. So that's my estimate for 9 tenths times 3 and 4 tenths. Let's just do a few more of these. Let's do the same thing with 4 and 92 hundredths times 5 tenths. I know that 4 and 92 hundredths is awfully close to 5, and I can actually probably just keep the 5 tenths as 5 tenths, because I can work with a half pretty easily. This is telling me to multiply 5 by 1 half. That gives me an estimate see, half of 5 would be 2 and a half. So my estimate here is 2 and a half. It's important to note that my answer actually got smaller. Right? I multiplied 5 by something less than 1. So just as it happens with fractions here, my product decreased. We'll just do one more. I'm going to ask you to find an estimate for 3, no, let's do 31 and 2 tenths times 2 and a tenth. Right? We're not using a calculator, and we're not right now trying to get an exact answer. This is just a time where we're practicing, practicing the skill of estimating. So take a moment, decide how you're going to estimate this, and then we'll see if we came pretty close with our estimates. How do we do? I rounded 31 and 2 tenths to 31 and I rounded two and a tenth just to two. So I did 31 times two, I got 62. I know my product should be in the ballpark of 62. This was just a very quick video to remind us and encourage you to always be estimating an answer as we're working with, well, really with any math, um, but specifically here as we are working with multiplying decimals.